Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Die! Fine! Fuck! Fuck you, Steve! Fuck! Hey, Chucky. Hey, they made me an offer I couldn't refuse. I had to sell the cleaners. I'm sorry. To make things easy for you, I got you two weeks' pay. Thanks, Steve. I, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> what I would have appreciated more would have been the chance to buy this place from you. Well, I've been coming here for years, man. Sometimes I picked up my dad's work shirts for this place, becoming my first summer job as a kid. Well, you know how much this place means to I me. I know, I know. Trust me, this was not an easy decision. You're like a son. But at the end of the day, you don't have the money to buy this place. And business is business, okay? Now, let's maybe it's time for you to go back to school, finish your degree. Jeez. You are more than a cleaner. No, you're right. I am more than a cleaner. I'm a husband. I'm a father, man. What am I going to tell my wife? I'm going to take care of my kids. You, you said you like family, but family doesn't leave family hanging. That's exactly what you did, Steve. You may have been like a father, man, but today, today you're just a boss. Give me my damn check and you stay the hell away from me! Oh. I'm sorry, I, I... Like I said, you either fix it or I'll fix it. I told you not to trust that man, Charlie. Well, I know, but what was I supposed to do? Leave a job for another job that didn't exist? Well, I guess it's safe to say yes to that question. Because right now, both jobs don't exist. What are you going to do? I, I, I don't know. I just need a few moments to think, okay? Well, well, don't take too long. If you don't come up with a plan in the next two weeks, things are going to change around here. Oh, don't worry. I got the situation handled. Not without a plan, you don't. How about you go put those cleaning skills to work and get started on this week's laundry? And while you're down there, you can take your moment to think and come up with a plan. <sighs> Who's that? Steve. He's trying to apologize again. That's not a call you take around me. You can call him back at your new job. Cleaning at the laundromat. You, uh, need some help? I don't know these machines, man, so they're always messing up my clothes, you know. I hate to break it to you, man, but I think this might be a user error situation. Uh, you mind if I give it a try? Sure. Go ahead. You got it in there right now. All right. Oh, yeah, man, you can't put these in the same load. This is, <laughs> yeah. I'm put this up top, put that up. You got another load, right? Oh, yeah. So we'll mix that in with that. Yeah. All right, so yeah, these can be delicates, man. You want to put it on a cold cycle and then take down the spins. You don't want it too crazy. Machine. You should, you should open up your own business. You know, it'd be a shame if you let all that skill go to waste. Thanks, man. Yeah. 
Okay. All right, thanks, Steve. Uh, if you didn't sell quality cleaners, the clean machine wouldn't be possible. It, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, bye. I told you not to talk to that man. Uh, no. We just got finished working on a new deal for the clean machine. What's that? A new dry cleaning business. <laughs> Started a dry cleaning business. Yep, Steve helped me. He called to apologize again. Well, listen, I wanted to apologize again. And to tell me that the check was startup money for the clean machine. Mm -hmm. uh, when I walked away earlier, he didn't have the chance to tell me about this opportunity because I was so upset about him selling quality cleaners. Hmm. So when do you start working, Mr. Business? <laughs> Got my first customer last night. Steve is sending these QC clients. The best part is I'm mobile and take deliveries too people and keeps the cost low. Charlie, I'm so proud of you. You've been crushing it these past few months. Hey, listen, you think you're ready for one of my supreme clients? Yes, sir. You know the clean machine, we're always ready to clean. Good. That's just what I wanted to hear. Now, listen, before I connect you, I need you to know that this particular client values extreme privacy. You think you can handle that? Yeah, yeah. I, I can handle that. Good. I'll send you the address. <laughs> Well, well, if it isn't the clean machine himself, I'm Dougie, but you can call me Fresh. Get it? Yes, sir, got it. Uh, how can I help you today? Talk to you about something. Please tell me you're not running drugs. No, no, no I'm not. I, I made sure I, it wasn't the type of job, but it might be. It might be worse. <laughs> kid with a great family. Uh, I assured him that you're probably taking care of another client right now. So he met me here at your place to make sure the special bag is okay. I need you to call me ASAP. 